welcome back today we are going to place breakout orders breakout orders are basically stop loss trigger orders one more point is we will not try to place these orders during market hours but when the market is closed these kinds of orders are called amo orders that is after market orders stop loss trigger orders are basically used by traders who trade strategies like opening range breakout which is usually called orbs or previous day high low breakouts so today during this demo we will try to place order which would be basically used for previous day high and low breakouts we will select reliance for that while placing these orders one thing i realized is there is no easy method in paytm money app to know days high and low i feel which is absolutely required uh, for a trader i have added reliance and nmdc in the watch list for this demo let's consider 2090 as the high point and 2060 as the low point for reliance we would buy reliance if the price goes above 2090 and sell reliance if the price goes below 2060 whichever order gets triggered the other order will act as the stop loss for trigger orders select trigger price under advanced options our upper trigger price is 2090 and we would select a custom price and this custom price needs to be higher than the trigger price for buy orders so okay we are buying 10 quantity click on buy and the order is placed let's go to the orders window we should see an amo order there yes you can see a amo order for 10 quantity of reliance so basically when uh, tomorrow when the market opens this order should automatically gets routed to the exchange L now let's check whether we can modify the amo order especially the stop loss trigger orders so for that you need to go to the orders window and uh, uh, you need to click on modify now we will try to modify the quantity from 10 to 5 and click on modify button now as you see the quantity has been reduced from 10 to 5 great now let's place stop loss sell order as we discussed earlier 2060 would be our trigger price for sell so we will be selling five quantity select trigger price under advanced options and then we would input the trigger price as 2060 we'll provide a custom price which should be lesser than the trigger price and this is very important click on sell now the order should be placed now let's go to the orders window yes we have a stop loss sell order which is amo so basically now we have both buy trigger order and sell trigger order if one gets triggered the other one will act as the stop loss let's see what happens in this video we explained how to place stop loss trigger orders both buy and sell and also explained how to place amo orders we will come up with another video where we will see what will happen to this order until then Take care. Bye.